Listen to me. It's it's on Charles' wedding today. Everyone's going to be so busy with it. Why don't you go to Grandma and steal the jewelry and and the earrings? Mom has kept the jewelry and dress hidden. And I think that all of us should distribute her jewelry equally among ourselves. Hey, no, Bashar, let now. me go. I want to print here. Here is your money. 14,000 in total. Listen to me very carefully. If you take the bangles from Guinea's hands, then I'll turn Mera House into a battlefield. There is going to be a war here. The married women who wash off the vermilion like that will undoubtedly get their husbands in danger. What husband, Mom? Nobody even asked me about it, Mother. If I really want to marry him or not. To bring Mohar back to his senses, we... We're gonna have to drive Gate away from him for good. They are beating, sir. The one who applied vermilion on your forehead. Let go of my hand, Junkar! Do you know whose hand you're holding? She's the daughter-in-law of the Mara family. You might have to pay a heavy price for just holding that hand of the daughter-in-law of the Mara family. Leave her hand, Sankar. Listen to me, Dad. I will only come back only with Geet, or else I'm just gonna be fine right here. This is interesting. Now a drama has become the daughter-in-law of this family. It's going to be so much fun on the wedding day. Tell me, will you play your drum at your wedding? And we will all dance. I went to Mr. Avatar's room without his permission. And I found his music diary. Let's go right now. No, no, mother. Do you know what else I found along with his music diary? Love letters. Uncle, I genuinely love Geet a lot. And Uncle, I cannot leave her alone. And the moment I held her hand and applied vermilion to her forehead, at that moment she became my responsibility. And because it's her that I chose to become my wife, I cannot run away from my responsibility. If you so decide that you want to accept Geet as your daughter-in-law, then Geet will become the Mara family's daughter-in-law. And I'm going to, to bring Geet to the Mara family very soon. If you can't accept Geet as a daughter-in-law of your family then, then even my shadow is never going to return to that house, and let alone myself. And that's a promise that I'm going to make to you. I'll go to decorate the temple, and I'll perform the puja. But I won't do anything else. If not this year, then next year. You will eat soggy, and even observe the fast. For me, you're our only daughter-in-law here, and it will be so. I will definitely become the daughter-in-law of the Mara house now. But Simone? I don't want to hear anything, Mother. Give me the plate. Chicken will be cooked in the Mara household for Karbachov. I mean, why are you talking to your son secretly? What were you teaching Malhar? If you can't learn anything else, at least learn to respect your wife. Please don't tell anybody that I'm observing the fast. I won't tell anyone about your fast. To become the daughter-in-law of this family. She must get married to your son. Only the vermilion has to be put on her forehead, right? It's going to be done. My dear, your tongue seems so sharper than usual to me. And it can wag faster, too. If you still continue to stand in front of me, Pammy. You know what, Grandma? Simone forcefully took the platter away from Aunt Jasmine. She took it forcefully. Despite that, no one said anything to her. Why don't you understand? I understand everything, Geet. I understand very well. Your dad is clearly sad that if Geet steps into that house again, her dead body will return. How do I send my daughter with you? How do I send her into the clutches of death? I'm gonna get married to you again. And this time with mantras and all the nuptial rounds. I'll make sure to put vermilion on your forehead, but this time with all the rituals.